By now, I'm sure you've heard of or you might be familiar with AI, artificial intelligence. We're starting to see it incorporated into a lot of our programs that we use every day. Things on our phones, uh, programs that we use at work. It's like, like what we've ever seen before. It keeps growing and changing and like it has a mind of its own. And now, Foxit has incorporated it into Foxit PDF Editor. I'd like to show you. Hi folks, I'm Charles from Foxit. In this video, I want to show you two examples that were given to me by teachers on how they would incorporate Foxit's new AI, which is built into Foxit PDF Editor. Then stick around to the end of the video and I'm going to tell you how you can get your own copy of Foxit PDF Editor for free. Let's get started. In this first example, let's say your students have to turn in a three to five page essay on a specific topic. And while I'm sure you're eventually going to go through each and every one of these assignments, wouldn't it be great if you could get just a really quick one paragraph summary of their essay just to make sure they understood the assignment properly? Well, with the essay open, I click here on this little blue icon in the corner. I click on my AI assistant and I click on summarize the document. It takes it only a few seconds and it gives me this one paragraph summary of the entire essay. You just blew my mind. Okay, so that was one example of how a teacher could use the new AI program. Let's take a look at how a student might be able to use this. For this example, let's say you have a reading assignment and you want to be able to give this to your students, but it's written in a language that is a couple of levels higher than where your students are at right now, and they might not understand the language that it's written in. All we have to do is click and drag to highlight a paragraph. I click down here to my AI assistant, and instead of clicking on summarize the document, I click on summarize the text. Now it has taken all of the text that I highlighted and broken it down into a much simpler and easier to understand paragraph. Now, obviously, because this is a summary, it's going to leave out certain details. Uh, it's not going to be as specific as the original is, but if you just want your students to be able to understand the context, then this can be a fantastic tool for your students uh, or, or for you if you wanted to show this up onto a class board. Now, if you would like to use Foxit PDF Editor and this amazing new AI tool, I need it! I'm going to show you how you can get it for free. Step one is to come here to foxit.com forward slash edu and then just click on the button that says buy now. This is going to take you to an app page that's going to show you uh, a couple of different options and different prices that are available for education. What you're looking for is here that says basic editor for cloud. That's the same one that I was just using in this demo. Click here to sign up. When the window opens that allows you to create an account, make sure in the email address you put in your school provided email address. It usually ends with a .edu. As long as you put in your school email address, it's going to give you one year for free. And after your one year, you can continue using it if you'd like. It's only $8.99 per year. Or for a few bucks more, you can upgrade to the Pro version, which will give you the desktop version and the mobile version and the cloud version together. I'm so excited. So these are two examples that were brought to me by teachers when I showed them the new AI tool. I'd love to hear from you, so make sure you leave some comments down below. Let us know how you're using AI in the classroom. Don't forget to click the like button. It really helps out the algorithm so people can find this video. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe, smash that bell for alerts. For Foxit Education, I'm Charles. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye now.